All right, how is everybody doing tonight? I hope that you are having uh, a good evening. So tonight we've got a couple of memorabilia breaks to get done. I'm sorry, I'm trying to I'm trying to mess with my laptop over there. It was in a weird position. <laughs> not I'm not multitasking well. So we have a couple of uh, memorabilia breaks. It's an autographed jersey and an autographed uh, full-size football helmet. And then after we do those, we will open uh, a full case of Topps Jumbo, 2019 Jumbo. So that's uh, what we have on tap before we get started. We have got a little bit of information to go over. Well, I shouldn't say before we get started because we've already started, right? Before we get started ripping into stuff, maybe is more to the point. We've got some info to go over. So first up there, guys, uh, note about feedback. Mine is completely automated. Anytime you leave positive feedback for me, you will get the same in return instantly without waiting. And of course, the second message, and far more important, is to say thank you. I do appreciate everyone who hangs out with me here and those of you who bid and break with me and keep me company and all that jazz. We're looking now at breaks that are listed on eBay that we're going to be conducting over the course of the next few days. So tomorrow night, uh, we don't have any new releases on Wednesday this week. This week is a Friday new release day for a change. So tomorrow we're going to open uh, a TriStar autograph football jersey. Tonight is a leaf, tomorrow's TriStar. And we'll do a couple of Gold Rush autograph mini football helmets tomorrow night as well. Plus my last case of Contenders football. We're going to be waving goodbye to 2018 Contenders football uh, cases after tomorrow evening. Thursday night will be a case of limited football and another case of optic basketball. On Friday, we do have a new release. It is Panini One Football. We're going to open it by the master case, which is uh, 20 boxes in total. It's got two 10-box cases inside there. So, like, why they do it that way, I don't know. Really, technically, it's, you know, two 10-box cases, but they put it in a bigger box and call it a master case because, hey, why not? So we will open that on Friday night, which is its release day, and we'll open another case of Crown Royal Basketball. Saturday, I'm going to open the last that I have of Bowman Draft Baseball, and that is the Super Jumbo. It's going to be a full case break, and just like tonight, the base cards are not going to go to the teams. The base cards will have their own separate bidding category. So in the Bowman Draft, of course, uh, the teams are still going to get autograph cards, numbered cards, all the chrome cards, and the inserts, okay? And there's, as you know, it's probably about half, maybe not quite half, but... There's a lot of Chrome cards in Bowman Draft, so each team still gets a lot of stuff, uh, but the paper base that is not autograph numbered uh, or an insert has its own bidding category. Sunday night, we'll open another master case of Panini One Football, and then we're going to step back in time a little bit and open ourselves a case of 2011 Crown Royal Football. We haven't opened that one in a while, so uh, we'll see what we can find in there on Sunday night. Now, here's what you know, here's what you need to know about tonight. We've got two free shipping breaks. Anytime you do a break with me that has entirely free shipping, which is the case for our helmet and our jersey breaks tonight, I'm always going to project that to go out six or seven days after an auction ends. Now, a lot of times I can get it on the way to you a little faster than that, but that is kind of the last date it should go out, barring any unforeseen circumstances. So that means uh, no later than Tuesday the 12th, a week from today, if you are the winner of the jersey or the football helmet, it should be on the way to you. Again, it might be sooner, but shouldn't be any later than that. The other thing you need to know about those free shipping breaks, if your team is not pulled in one of those two breaks, you are still entitled to a used consolation trading card. And uh, that can be from any year and any series. I do keep track of it for a rolling 90-day period, and typically it would just go out with your next package, right? Because that's a totally free shipping break. So I would save it up the next time you had a package heading your way. I would just put all those in there with it. Now, if you don't want to wait for that, all you need to do is shoot me a little message over on eBay and let me know. We'll get you all taken care of. Now, our paid shipping break tonight. That is our case of Top Series 1 Jumbo. I keep saying 2018 on there. Like, what is my problem? I keep, I do this every night. I have not mentally made the switch, apparently, to the fact that we are opening 
2019 tops. Good grief. That fixed it. <laughs> so it is 2019 top series one jumbo. It is a full case break. It is break number three. Once again, I'm sure everyone noticed uh, when they were bidding that base cards do not go out to the teams. Base has a separate bidding category. So the teams are going to get numbered cards, relics, autograph cards, and anything that is defined as an insert on the tops checklist. Okay. Everything else is base and we'll go to the base card uh, bidding spot. So first up tonight, 2018 Leaf Autograph Football Jersey. This is break number 27. Everything we're opening tonight ended tonight, Tuesday night, the 5th of February. You've got your team names on the left-hand side. Your winning bidder is across from it there, of course, on the right-hand side. And we'll have the helmet coming up after this. We potentially are going to have a spot open in the helmet, I expect, uh, unless payment magically appears here in a moment. Uh, we'll probably have an opening in the helmet, but we'll check it out after we do the uh, jersey here and see where things sit. Finally, you're going to notice the background going out of focus a little bit there. That's on purpose. I know it seems kind of counterintuitive to put something out of focus, but it's so we can look at everything up close, right? We like, I like to see things up close. All right, who is here in chat tonight? Ezekiel is here. Greg is here. He said free agency continues. Yeah, you got that right. Um, Mike, we might have an open spot in the helmet break. If the payment doesn't come in here in the next couple minutes, we will potentially have um, an open spot in the helmet break anyway. Everything, I think, was covered here. Jordan needs the Dolphins. Chris is here. Dirty Dog is here. And Michael's here. Hi, guys. So first up, Packers in the house. Well, Paul Horning, not too shabby. And uh, he has signed it there at the top on the number. And you've got, it looks black, doesn't it? It's not black. It's a, it's a dark green, but for some reason, I don't know, the way it's reading on the camera, it looks black. But anyway, there is his signature Hall of Fame inscription. You are double authenticated. There's a Leaf Authentication hologram sticker, a JSA authentication. And then you have a Leaf um, credit card size authentication. I do not see any JSA paper authentication. So you've got a JSA sticker, a leaf sticker, and a JSA uh, hard uh, copy COA. All right. So Paul Horning and the Green Bay Packers. Anthony's here too. Hi, Anthony. How are you tonight? What's happening? What's happening in everybody's world today? How are things going for everybody? I think we're getting ready, apparently, to get about four inches of rain dumped on us in the next couple of days, so I'm kind of dreading that. But uh, other than that, everything's going well here, and I'd rather it be rain than snow. Guys, give me one second. I'm going to switch you back and let you look at shipping information again in case someone didn't see it earlier. While you are gazing away at that, I'm going to see where we stand as far as uh, payment situations on this helmet spot. And yes, it does look like we've got a spot in here. The Philadelphia Eagles are going to be open here in the full-size helmet break. So if someone wants to make me an offer on that, uh, we can see how that shakes out. Meanwhile, give me a second. I'm going to go in here and, and uh, dump out of the spreadsheet the person who did not pay for it. Sam, it's the Eagles that we have available in the helmet break. So uh, I'm just going to kind of type in that little bit right there. So you guys uh, see. Oh, Eagles Adrian Fanatic. You want it? All right, man. Um, it was, well, you tell me what you want to pay for it, Eagles Adrian Fanatic. It was last bid at, uh, you don't know the answer to that. <laughs> it was last bid at $12, the person who did not pay for it. Um but of course, you know, we'll, we'll work with it. So Eagles, Adrian, tell me uh, where we need to land on this and uh, we'll get this part wrapped up. Meanwhile, everybody, thank you for being patient while we are moving out this unpaid team. These people who bid and don't pay are making me crazy. Michael's here. Hi, Michael. How are you, Michael? 
So Eagles, Adrian Fanatic, let me know. You still want it? Yes, no, maybe? All right, cool. Do you need me to invoice you or would you prefer if I just type in my email and you send it on that way? Tell me what works for you, please, sir. And uh, I am getting ready right now to update the spreadsheet with that. And this is, uh, I'm just going to type you in the spreadsheet as Eagles Fanatic, but you know who you are. So let me get this updated real quickly, guys. We'll, we'll get moving uh, on down the road here. If you just bear with me. I know, it's a drag when we have to slow down and do this sort of stuff. Not fun at all, not fun at all. All right, now my part is done. So let's see here. Can I one line PayPal info? You mean just type in, when you say one line PayPal info, do you mean just type in my email address? <laughs> I hope that's what you mean. I don't really know. You know I'm a little slow mentally some days. Um, so what I just typed in is the email that I use for PayPal. Guys, I don't really use that for uh, correspondence very much. So if you try to reach me, uh, the best way to go, of course, is going to be always to send me a message through eBay. Uh, I do not really uh, check that AOL thing for correspondence, just FYI. But I've had it like 500 years and I don't want to get rid of it because I have so many auto pay things tied to it. So there you go, including PayPal. Okay, so once again, I think everyone has seen this by now, but in the off chance that you didn't, there's the information with uh, shipping, anticipated shipping dates, info about consolation cards. Hit me up with questions. This is going to be 2018 Leaf Autograph Full-Size Football Helmet Break number six. And of course, uh, also ended tonight, February the 5th. You've got team names on the left. Winning bidders are across from it on the right-hand side. We have one adjustment here, of course. That is uh, the Philadelphia Eagles. That bidder did not make payment for their team, so their order has been canceled. And uh, Eagles Fanatic is picking that one up instead with our very gracious thanks for jumping in there. So I appreciate that. All right, so Eagles Fanatic, I'm assuming you're good. We're good to go. Uh, if, you, if we're not, well, I know you. You know me. We'll sort it out if uh, we need to. But I'm assuming you saw me type it in and that we're A-OK -okay there. Look how loose this plastic wrap is. All these leaf things, all these leaf helmets the whole year have had real, like, weird loose plastic wrap. And it freaks me out. But anyway, you can see, <laughs> you can see the seal is still intact there. And you can see the loose, weird plastic wrap. But we've opened a lot of these, but most of our breaks of this we did as uh, cases of full-size helmets. And I saved back just one little lonely case. And this one little lonely case that we have left, we're going to break them as singles. But uh, most of these we broke full-size when they came out. All right, let's see if I can... Oh, man. Come on out of there. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm struggling. I'm struggling to get it out of the box. Whew, yeah, all right. Clearly not one of my uh, finer moments of coordination there now, was it? Not really. And there's some kind of piece off, you see that? It's like rolling around down in the box, but it looks like it just snaps in, so that's the good news. This is a replica helmet. I know who it is because it said it on the top of that box, but you don't yet, so let's pick that up and let you see. That is one Earl Campbell signed on a collegiate helmet, but of, cor of course Earl Campbell played for the Houston uh, Oilers, which became the Tennessee Oilers, which became the Tennessee Titans. So it goes to the Titans. I'm trying to figure out how this gets reattached. Does it just snap in there? Maybe, I guess. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's what happened. So I'll snap those other two pieces back in later, but that's enough to hold it for now. Um, so, yeah. So cards, items, maybe it's not enough to hold it for now. Always go to their franchise. That's how it works. 
why does this this is so strange i don't know what is going on with this thing oh maybe it goes like that no wonder this came loose this is a pain um <laughs> anyway because it always stays with the franchise of course that's why it goes to the titans because they were they are not in any way affiliated with the Texans. The Oilers were, no, were never the Texans. Texans were a different franchise expansion. Another look at your autograph. We saw we had to do a little, a little work there to reattach one piece, but nothing major. Leaf Certificate of Authenticity. Leaf Hologram Certification on the back. And uh, some kind of other guaranteed uh, authentic signature confirmation. So Titans, Earl Campbell, full-size helmet. All right, let me get this in its uh, back in its bag and back in its box, and then we'll be moving on down the line here. That was good and noisy too, wasn't it? Holy cow! <laughs> I think I had too much Red Bull tonight. I'm going to admit that to you right up front now. I was feeling kind of tired, and so I had more Red Bull than I should have. <laughs> so now I'm feeling super, super energized, but probably uh, more caffeinated than I should be. Let's just lay it out there. I think that's the case. But anyway... We are next up going into our case of uh, 2019 Top Series 1 Jumbo. Once again, it is a full case break. Base cards don't ship to the teams. That was in the listing description. Hopefully everybody read it and you know what's going on. Uh, base had its own bidding category. So you want to know what's going to the teams. Here's what's going to the teams. Numbered cards, autographed cards, relic cards, and anything that is defined or listed as an insert according to the TOPS checklist. So that's how we do that, okay? So six boxes, full case, break number three, same format, teams on one side, and uh, of course, the winning bidders across from it. <laughs> Michael says if I actually see a Red Bull, as in the animal, that I better uh, then I better lay off the caffeine. Well, that's probably pretty good. That's probably pretty good advice. <laughs> yeah. So so far I'm not having any hallucinations. So you know I think we're good there. We hope. I'm gonna put my wrist brace on for this one, kids. This is a lot of cards and a lot of sorting. And Chris is here looking for some Braves mojo. So we need to work on that for Chris. Get all the, get the brace on, get the boxes out, and we're going to rock. Okay, I am, uh, so I'm going to give you a little, a little 411 while I'm getting these out of here. So since uh, we don't have anything but the nice little Tootsie Roll center that where we find all of our hits and that's what's shipping out to teams and everything else uh, other than that is going to our base card spot. We're not going to flip through every single base card out of the, oh, I don't know, 3,000 or so that are in here. What we will do is uh, look through the first pack. I'll kind of give you a feel for how it works, although most of you probably already know that it's when we hit the center. And then from there on out, we'll just kind of work our way down to the center without flipping through every card ahead of it and behind it and that sort of thing. That way it makes it a little more manageable when we do it as a full case. So many of you know we did uh, the first case as a half case, and sometimes I do a half case, and when I do, that's when all the cards will ship to the teams. But... The other times when I do full cases on stuff with this many cards, base pretty much always will go off by itself. Because it's otherwise really just incredibly time consuming to sort out that many cards to get to the teams. And by the way, I find that most people don't care about the base in Series 1 and Series 2 and Jumbo too much anyway. 
All right, Greg needs the Orioles, and Mickey is here. Hi, Mickey. So once again, in this first pack, we're going to kind of blow through, and you're going to be able to see um, everything, all the base, right up until we get to the point where we get to the nice middle. And this is where we stop. And the things that are in the middle are the things that are going to the team specifically. Everything before the middle and everything after the middle going to that base card bidding position. So we're going to find loads of these. And when they have that little color there on the border, they will be numbered to 2019. Of course, probably most of you familiar with how that works. Tops just takes the year and then it's numbered to whatever the year is on those. Evolution of Baseball for the Pirates. A 35th anniversary for the Cardinals. And I believe we've got, uh, this is technically considered uh, the base, I believe. So we're back into the base from that point. So once again, we're only defining the inserts as they are defined on the TOPS website. So that's uh, the evolution of baseball. That's greatest moments, greatest players, the 35th anniversary, the numbered stuff, um, etc. All right, so now we're just going to kind of shuffle through until we get to the center, which uh, we're about to get to. Oops, that's a parallel, the gold one. So the gold one will sort out and go to the Cubs. And by gold one, I mean that, the 150th anniversary gold stamp on it. We have an Ichiro. This is 150 years greatest players. Again, we'll find lots of those, a 35th anniversary. This is also considered an insert set according to the Tops checklist. It is Tops now. That is Otani and the Angels. And then we don't have to do anything with the rest. Because it goes to base. So that's kind of how it's going to roll, guys and gals. We'll cut to the middle, see what's in that part. Stack off everything before it and everything after it to go to the person who's going to be getting a box of like 30 pounds worth of cards. <laughs> it's going to be huge. It won't be 30 pounds, but it'll probably be 20. 150th anniversary gold to the A's. There's Rivera for the Yankees with the greatest moments. An anniversary for the Red Sox with Pedro Martinez. We have an autograph out with Felipe Vasquez. 35th anniversary parallel for the Pittsburgh Pirates. It is also a gold autograph parallel, which means we should be numbered to 50. If I can get this in the sleeve there, we'll take a look at it. It is number 11 of 50 to be specific. So the Pirates draw first blood as far as our hits are concerned, and then everything else, we're back to base. If I didn't discuss this, I might not have. Uh, again, I figure probably most of you have done these kinds of breaks before, but there is one autograph and two relics per box. One of the relics will be a traditional relic, like a piece of a jersey or a piece of a bat. The other relic is a, a manufactured relic. That's the gold 150th anniversary stamp for uh, Jansen and the Blue Jays, a Reggie Jackson greatest moments for the Yankees. There's a nice little hollow foil rookie for Jake Bowers and the Tampa Bay Rays. 35th anniversary Chance Adams rookie for the Yankees. And that's that. So it has been uh, interesting this year. I do think that they've had a little different number. Well, they did change the number of cards in the pack, but I think they also changed the number of inserts. It seems to me like they did. Charlie Blackman hollow foil for the Rockies and a Clayton Kershaw rookie reproduction. These, I love these cards. Uh, they call them the iconic cards, but I like that insert series that's reprints of rookie cards of some of the you know, great players. I think that's fun. There's Urias and the Padres. A Mike Trout relic, not too shabby uh, for the Angels. Yeah, that's nice major league material card for one Mike Trout. I like that. And then we're back to our base. If 
Chris, yeah, do you have do you have the angels tonight, Chris? I don't remember who you had in here. I I know I should remember who has what. I know that I should, but guys, I don't know. I I I just don't. I try, but I don't do a very good job remembering it. 150th uh, gold stamp on there, Tampa Bay Rays, Jake Bowers, greatest players Lou Brock and the Cardinals. The Nationals Juan Soto. It's just my memory, man. My memory is not what it used to be, and that's base. No, you're just the Braves tonight. Okay, all right. Then we've got to, we'll work, we'll continue to work on the Braves mojo for you then. Charlie Blackman and the Rockies. My man Hank Aaron for the Braves. Love Hank Aaron. Phillies, Santana. A manufactured relic for Pudge, Yvonne Rodriguez for the Texas Rangers. That's the medallion. Those are kind of thick, heavy cards. And it is numbered to 150. So those are all of our autographs and relics out of box number one. But of course, we're going to have more inserts to find as we go along here. Or we should have anyway. Oh, yeah, I just saw... Um, I forgot about that. Coming up here in a second, we have Home Run Derby. So if we haven't, we'll talk about that because I didn't remember to mention it in, in when we started. Hollow Foil Garcia for the White Sox, Wade Boggs, and the Red Sox. The Cardinals with Molina. So the Home Run Derby Challenge, or just Home Run Challenge, I guess technically is what it's called, but... What you do, when you get it, you scratch off that little uh, silver box on the back. It gives you a code. You go to this website. You can enter the code for a chance to win. The way you win, you're, you get to select a date and say, this is the date you think the player on the front is going to hit a home run. And if they hit a home run on that day, then you get uh, a special card from Tops Now. And you also, yeah, that's base. You also get entered to win... Do you get entered to win uh, a grand prize to win a trip to the home run derby so at least i assume the prize this year will be the same last year it was a tops now card so i'm assuming uh, that it would be a tops now card again aaron nola and the phillies to 2019 a hollow foil sal romano for the reds and uh, these greatest uh, cards typically, or greatness returns rather, typically have two different teams on them. So we're going to set them up there in the housekeeping area because those will get divvied up at the end of the break. But we'll have to set them aside when we find them. We'll use random.org to tell us which team it goes to. And basically it'll be pretty easy. We'll just do team on the left hand side or team on the right hand side of the card and that's how we'll match it up at the end. Greatest players, Pujols for the Angels. And the Angels with a little hollow foil there with Berea. The Yankees, Aaron Judge. A tops now insert for Glaber Torres. And uh, now we are back to our base. So that was box number one out of the way. Well, Greg, for sure there's a lot of base in here. Yeah, but I mean, we kind of knew that was going to be the case going in. This is not a product that has uh, tons and tons of inserts in it. But that's part of the reason that we broke it up the way that we did. Because it's uh, otherwise it's too unwieldy to try to break it as a full case when all the cards are sorted to the teams. And this, again, is a product where a lot of people don't care about the base in here. And the ones that do, of course, you had the opportunity out of that first case break uh, to jump in there. And then all the cards shipped in there. This is the 150th gold anniversary for the Mets. There's a Greatest Players, McGuire and the A's. Red Sox, Big Poppy. And a Tops Now, Juan Soto for the Nationals. No, Mickey, we don't break anything else with it. Just what what is listed in the description is the only thing, and in the title is the only thing that ever, you know, that we ever break. So anytime 
However it's breaking, it's always going to say that in the title and the description. Well, always in the description, not always in the title, I guess, depending on how much space there is. But it's always going to spell out in the description exactly what is being broken. And like we did for this one, of course, it goes into it and tells you specifically the base doesn't ship and what does and what doesn't ship and all that. This is to 2019 D.D. Gregorius for the Yankees. Cool little Lou Gehrig reprint iconic card for the Yankees. There's a uh, Glaber Torres again, and then we're at base. So yeah, that's why I always uh, suggest to you guys that you check out those listing descriptions. It's always going to be kind of in the same area. If you go to the spot where it tells you the product name and quantity, and then it gives you uh, the time and date for the break right there in that same little area is where I put any other details that you would need to know. Like in this, you know, in this case, the fact that base had its own bidding category and etc. That doesn't need to go in sleeve yet. Luke Weaver, Cardinals, 150th uh, gold on there. Frank Thomas for the White Sox, greatest players. Willie McCovey and the Giants. This will be numbered for the Arizona Diamondbacks. A little Steven Souza to 25. A little camo parallel there. We like those. I like the low number stuff coming out. So, I mean, again, most of my breaks do ship the base, but there are times I don't. And it is usually around this Series 1, Series 2 update. Uh, sometimes Bowman draft uh, or something like that. Sometimes regular Bowman too, but not usually. Usually I sort out regular Bowman. The 150th gold parallel there and the little symbol for the Yankees. Willie McCovey Giants. A hollow foil for uh, Laureano, rookie for the A's. The Marlins with El Muto and back to the base. So for sure, the person who is getting all the base cards, you are going to have an insane amount of cards coming. You'll probably have a lot of fun with them, though. That goes to the Marlins. Here we have another one of our greatness returns up there in housekeeping, Shohei Otani. And our autograph hit is for the Indians with Mike Clevenger. And of course, on card autograph, so that's always good to hit. Well, Adam, there are not. Um, you guys probably are aware of this. You've either read it by now or you heard me talking about it in our other breaks. Uh, Tops apparently, as best anybody can tell, did not put in any SP variations in Jumbo this year. They are listed on the pack as having odds that should be in there, but in fact they are not in there. Uh, SSP variations are still in Jumbo, and apparently SP variations were properly added to the regular hobby, but not to the jumbos. They accidentally left them out. Luke Weaver hollow foil for the St. Louis Cardinals. But if we were to find an SSP or an SP, this is where it's going to be. All the hits, anytime you do jumbo in Series 1 or Series 2 or Update or Bowman or Bowman Draft, anytime you do the jumbos, the hits are always in the center when it's tops. The hits are always put in the middle. It's a home run derby, Carlos Correa for the Astros. So yeah, so if we find any SSPs, that's where it's going to be. But apparently, um, I, this was this came out, I guess, what, the, I think it was the day after the product release, because a lot of stuff, of course, broke the day that it came out, and like nobody was finding SPs at the ratio that they should have been. It's this Chance Adams hollow foil for the Yankees. And so at that point, then I guess uh, it was on, oh, why am I drawing a blank? I mean, I can see it and I can't spit it out. This is Greatness Returns up here. Beckett, gosh, what is wrong with me? So then they came out with the article on Beckett that said that basically Tops left it out by accident, but apparently left them out of Jumbo's. 
a postseason performance relic card. And uh, this is Justin Verlander for the Astros. It's numbered to 99. And that's pretty cool. You know, we don't pull those all that often. So that's a nice, uh, a nice little bit of memorabilia there. I like, I like pulling the stuff that comes out with a little less frequency. But of course, SSPs, um, Adam, we should, well, it's not necessarily that we will find one. We may or may not find one, but they are apparently in here at the correct ratio, but they're Let's just see what their their odds are. It's a lot less. Uh, SSPs come one in every 495 packs. So that is, uh, you know, pretty pretty hard to pull. To 2019, Derek Dietrich and the Marlins. A hollow foil for the Mets with McNeil. And there it is, Hank Aaron, iconic card. Eckersley for the A's. So I don't know. Greg asked the other night when we were talking about this, is Topps going to do anything to make up for it? I have not heard that they're going to, so my assumption is that they are not, but it would be nice if they did, but I guess technically they don't guarantee it, and even when it gives the listed odds, it's never quote-unquote a guarantee. The Indians with Ramirez, <clears throat> excuse me, Steve Carlton and the Phillies. There's Goldschmidt for the D-backs. Here comes our manufactured relic. It's a little manufactured cap patch for Aaron Nola and the Phillies. But I did think it, you know, would have been nice if Topps had kind of said, yeah, we messed up and we'll, <laughs> you know, do something like send you a little pack of short print cards or something to make up for it, but I guess it doesn't work like that. Because they technically have inserted them all already wherever they went, which I guess was into the into the hobby, but not even but not more so than normal. So just I don't know what happened. Ricky Henderson for the A's. A hollow foil for the Indians with Jose Ramirez. Matt Carpenter and the Cardinals, and a tops now Mike Trout for the Angels. Might increase the value though, if you think about it, since technically even what should be the short prints are in shorter supply than than tops intended. If you do get a short print, I would think that it would probably have a little more value attached, maybe. That's my thought process on it anyway. Something uh, along those lines. Does that have the 150th? It does not. So we are starting the middle here with a hollow foil for the Orioles and Adam Jones. And then we have a little Rookie Revolution for the Braves. Or Evolution, sorry. <laughs> Why I said Revolution? Not hardly. Evolution. Padres, Trevor Hoffman. A home run challenge for Juan Soto. Nice. And the Nationals. There's 150th on that one, so we need to snag it for the Orioles with Adam Jones. Another Hank Aaron for the Braves. The Yankees, I cannot say that guy's last name. We're just going to call him Jonathan. I've never been able to properly pronounce his name. I know that comes as a shock to you. <laughs> this is uh, for the Brewers, it is our manufactured relic. Uh, once again, the metal medallion there. Eric, you said you're you're pulling. You pulled uh, short prints out of a hobby box. Well, for sure, because they're according to the information on Beckett, they did insert them in the hobby boxes properly. It's literally in the jumbo ones that they messed up on the SPs. But not on the SSPs, just on the regular SPs. So, for what that's worth, you should be able to find that article. If you Google it, I'm sure you should still be able to read that article. It was just up there a couple, 
what did this come out? Wednesday of last week. So it would have been this past Thursday, I think, that it would have been on the Beckett website. That was Mariners. This is the St. Louis Cardinals, Greatest Moments with Slaughter. And a hollow foil for the Mariners. Matt Chapman for the A's. Back to the base. So yeah, I've kind of considered whether or not we might want to... Of course, I had, you know, everything was pre-ordered, and typically what you want is the jumbo. You don't usually want to break the hobby in one, two, or update. However, because of this circumstance that's going on, I have kind of considered whether or not to bring in uh, a case of hobby, even though we've got a bunch of jumbo. Greatest Moments, Ty Cobb and the Tigers. A hollow foil for the Nationals with Trey Turner. The D-backs with Grinky. There's a Tops Now for Acuna. Tops Now insert, I should say, for Acuna. But have you noticed, Eric, by the way, if, if the short print prices are higher than normal? Did you by chance notice one way or the other? Since they're, you know, I'd say most, uh, probably a lot of breakers did exactly what I did, and we order the jumbo. We don't order the hobby, so it's probably not as much being broken out of the hobby. To 2019, that is for the Colorado Rockies. A little Rod Carew iconic card reproduction. And then we have the Rangers, and then we're back to our base. Phillies with Nola, Clemente and the Pirates, Bob Gibson for the Cardinals. Here comes an autograph for the Oakland A's. And it is uh, Matt Chapman, numbered to 150 on the Legacy of Baseball card set. Yeah, so the short prints, their price doesn't sound like is really much different than what it would normally be then. And most of them are going for around 9 or 10. So, yeah, so I thought maybe it would push up the short print prices a bit, but it sounds like it really hasn't. Sounds like they're about flying about where they would normally. Do little hollow foil for the Nationals. Greatness returns. We'll put up there in housekeeping. For the Yankees, Severino, here comes a relic for Jose Abreu and the White Sox. So, yeah, if you got an Otani short print for nine on eBay, then I would say, you know, they're they're about where, where they would normally be if we hadn't had a strange tops sorting situation or... I guess not really sorting, collating maybe is the word I'm looking for. Sean Doolittle, Nationals. Lou Gehrig, Greatest Seasons for the Yankees. Corey Seager, Dodgers. The Tops Now, Otani. And hang on now. Do we have a... No, we don't. Seems like we don't have the gold, uh, little 150th gold imprint in the jumbos where we have other numbered cards, but we don't have numbered cards or relics or autographs. We do have that little imprint. That's how it seems, kind of. Edwin Diaz, 2019 for the Mariners. Here's a hollow foil for the Orioles. An iconic Derek Jeter for the Yankees. The Braves, Tom Glavine. So, Eric, did you go see, uh, do you go to the Reds Caravan? I, you go to the Reds Autograph Days, don't you? But did you go to any of the Reds Caravan stops? I kind of meant to this year, and I did not get, I did not get there. Joseph, Caleb Joseph for uh, Baltimore. Mike Piazza and the Mets. The Yankees with Don Mattingly. 
Oh, Randall's going to be numbered here. Uh, Grichuk to 67. For the Toronto Blue Jays. All right, so we're at the halfway point right now. Three down, three to go. Goes a lot faster this way, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, definitely. I was wondering who you met. So, see, you read my mind. You already typed in that part, too. <laughs> so, you went to the one in Hamilton, and uh, they had Scooter, Jeanette, Sal Romano, and Cody Reed. Not bad, not bad. I think we were supposed to have um, Barnhart here. I can't remember who was coming with him, but I think we were scheduled to have Tucker and I forget who else. But I honestly, I got busy and it completely slipped my mind. If I don't put it in my phone calendar these days, I don't know what is wrong with me. I can't seem to remember it if I don't. St. Louis Cardinals Martinez to 2019. Here's an evolution of baseball for the Orioles. Brewers, Travis Shaw. And then that's back to basics. Were there a lot of people there, Eric? I'm just wondering if everybody's a little more excited about the Reds this year. Maybe, since they've invested a little money in payroll in the off season. Maybe we'll actually have a decent uh, product to watch on the field this year, we hope. Sal Romano for the Reds. Ernie Banks for the Cubbies. There's a hollow foil Jake Lamb for the Diamondbacks. For the Astros, that's Jose Altuve. And I don't know why I put that one in a sleeve a second ago. Some of you are probably going, why did you put that one in a sleeve? It wasn't numbered. I know. I don't know why I did. Just out of habit, I suppose. Although the hollow foils, I will sleeve after the break anyway. I pretty much always sleeve the hollow foils. Oh, and of course, the numbered stuff. The White Sox. Avisel Garcia. Jeff Bagwell. Astros. White Sox again. Frank Thomas. A tops now for the Angels. Oh, it was dead. There was nobody there. Well, I'm kind of disappointed to hear that. I was hoping maybe there was a little more enthusiasm this year. Dave, you think it's time for Ichiro to come out? Well, let's try and make that happen. Dave, did you happen to see? Um, we did a break that was a mixer maybe two weekends ago or something. We did one for baseball, one for basketball, one for football. But in the baseball mixer, we had uh, Topps Dynasty was one of the boxes that was in there. And out of that Topps Dynasty, we pulled a dual auto Otani and Ichiro numbered to five. It was like the most awesome card. Loved it. So 2019, Orlando Arcia and the Brewers. And, you know, we opened, I don't know, two, three, four cases of Dynasty, whatever I had. For the Red Sox, hollow foil. An iconic Clemente for the Pirates. For the Yankees, there's a Derek Jeter. And out of the dynasty that we opened by the case, I mean, we definitely had some nice hits. And there was a lot of good stuff in it, for sure. There always is. It's dynasty. But this was actually just a loose box that my one of my distributors had called me because he knows I do mixers and things sometimes. And he said, hey, I have this just one box left <laughs> of Dynasty. Do you want it? And I said, yeah, sure, send it on. I mean, and this was back like when Dynasty was released. And I just, I have a big pile of things. Um, this is for the Dodgers. Then we have for the Diamondbacks, a little hollow foil. For the Braves, there's Mr. Acuna. Here is a relic. For the A's, Ricky Henderson looks like a piece of the baseball bat there for Mr. Henderson and the Oakland A's. I put that in upside down. That on it. I do that every time. I don't know when I look when I do it from the back on certain cards. For some reason, I do them upside down. Anyway, so I have just a box, actually some shelves of things that where I. 
put loose boxes of various stuff, baseball, basketball, football, and eventually I put them together and we make mixers out of them. So that had been sitting here since that product came out and I just broke it two weekends ago. Thinking the whole time, wow, I think it was been sitting on my shelf. That's uh, Berea for the Angels. There's Eddie Matthews and the Braves. The Blue Jays with Roberto Alomar. This is going to be numbered for Justin Bauer and the Phillies. It is numbered to 67. I know, Dave's, Dave's like, man, I wish I had bought that spot. No doubt, man. I think everybody wished they bought that spot once we saw that card. <laughs> You know, and it was a mixer, so there's a lot of other nice stuff that came out, too. But that was that was probably my favorite card that we pulled in Dynasty last year. I mean, it was just awesome. You don't find that pairing too often of, of Otani and Ichiro, obviously. Otani just been, in the, been around the one year, but... And Dave says, I, he bets I wish I'd kept that box. Adam Engel and the White Sox. You know what? I really don't think of it that way. I mean, you know, some of my friends definitely think of it that way. That's the Braves. There's a Glaber Torres home run challenge. I mean, when I hit the, when we hit the um, Otani that sold for, oh, just under a hundred grand, that one, even that one, I didn't sit there and think, oh man, I really, you know, I should have opened that myself. I just don't think of it that way. But all my friends did, believe me. <laughs> Especially my friends that don't collect particularly. They're all like, oh my gosh, <laughs> you know, why aren't you opening all these yourself and just keeping them? And I was like, oh, well, first of all, that's, there's no fun in it. The fun in it is the breaking it. And secondly, like you just can't keep everything. So I never really worry too much about that part of it. That was Eric Hosmer and the Padres. This is a revolution of the game. Uh, a general manager for who? The Dodgers. Okay, so we don't have to worry about him going to random or anything. Steve Carlton and the Phillies. Here comes our autograph. It's for the Braves. Your mojo request uh, was answered there for the Braves. You have a little Kobe Allard, Colby Allard rookie autograph hit coming out for Atlanta. So, yeah, I mean, you know, you can always look at anything and say, oh, I should have just opened that myself and whatever, but nah, it's more fun to let you guys hit it anyway. I, I just enjoy the opening. I enjoy the breaking. I think it's fun. Even stuff where a lot of breakers, you know, certain products when the price goes way up, they'll resell it. Jake Lamb, D-backs, I don't. I still break it because I think it's more fun. <laughs> That's Grinky for the Dodgers. There's Anthony Rizzo for the Cubbies. The Astros, there's a cap patch for George Springer. Because, you know, for sure, it's less work and you sometimes would make more money if I just resold them as sealed cases, but... There's just no fun in that, I don't think. So, I don't know. Everybody says I'm crazy for the way I do some of that sort of stuff. But if I have it, we break it. Would be super unusual for me to sell it as a sealed case on the secondary. Would be really unusual. Lou Gehrig and the Yankees. A hollow foil for my Cincinnati Reds. It's my man Joey Votto. The Indians with Jose Ramirez, a tops now um, for Kyle Schwarber. I don't even remember that particular tops now, but anyway, there it was for the Cubbies. Yeah, the patches, the manufactured patches are pretty cool this year, aren't they, Chris? They're like those little, uh, little cap patches or whatever. Which they, they needed to be pretty cool because I have to say I'm not a huge fan of the actual overall card design this year. And for the most part, those of you who have weighed in on it feel kind of the same way, I think. Card design leaves a little to be desired. So definitely it is better that the hits have a little oomph to them to kind of make up a bit for <laughs> what, what I think is slightly lacking in design. 
That's for the Pirates, Nick Birdie, Phil Necro, and the Yankees. The Red Sox with Wade Boggs. And right off the bat, we have ourselves another manufactured cap patch. This one's numbered, though. It is to 150 for Aaron Nola and the Phillies. <laughs> Chris says Series 2 better make up for it. Well, I hate to tell you, brother, but this is going to be the card design for the whole year. <laughs> so, Series 2 and update. Yeah, they're going to look pretty much the same. As far as design goes, um, yeah, the base, the base set design is this for 2019. Fortunately, we don't see the base card a lot, base card design a lot, other than those products and maybe a few little inserts here and there that might show up in Clearly Authentic or something. Justin Bauer for the Phillies, 150. Jackie Robinson for the Dodgers. Mike Piazza and the Mets. Oh, there's a nice one. Would have been even nicer still last year, but you know what? If you have the Nationals, I'm guessing you're still a fan of that hit. There's your man Juan Soto. Hard signed autograph, uh, numbered to 150, with your 150th anniversary parallel there on the front. So the Nationals with a nice one. And Juan Soto. But I guess, you know, at some point you probably do just run out of design ideas, don't you? I mean, as long as Topps has been doing this, they're probably just like, yeah, we're out of ideas. <laughs> Danny Jansen for the Blue Jays, a hollow foil. This nice little Chris Bryant is going to be numbered for the Cubbies. Or actually, it's not. I'm sorry. It's the iconic card. It's not numbered. I thought that it was going to be, but I was incorrect. Dodgers Clayton Kershaw. A home run derby, Alex Bregman. Yeah, that's a good one for the Astros. I would say he'll slug a few out this year. Would be the expectation. You know, I had some of those last year, and I never even scratched them off and tried to win. I don't know why I didn't. I just kind of, I got it in my head that I wanted to keep them unscratched, and then later I thought, well, that was kind of dumb. I probably should have entered them, <laughs> but I didn't. Trey Turner and the Nationals. Joe Morgan for my Cincinnati Reds. A hollow foil for the White Sox with one Tim Anderson. The Royals, Ryan O'Hearn. I don't know, maybe there'll be a market one of these days for the unscratched ones. Maybe. Probably not. <laughs> but hey, you can let me fool myself, right? Let me let me talk myself into it. A hollow foil, Castillo, Reds, going up into housekeeping, greatness returns for the Angels, our Rangers, that's Joey Gallo, the Rangers, again, right behind it, this one is Beltre, with a relic, a little game used, uh, looks like a piece of the baseball bat there. And base. So did everybody, uh, I don't know if, if, if any of you collect anything other than just baseball, but for those of you who do collect other sports, Topps is getting back into football. I don't know if anybody saw that or not, but it's not the NFL because, of course, you know, Panini still holds that exclusive license. But they're in the new football league, Tim Anderson and the White Sox. There's Ozzie Smith for the Cardinals, the Mariners with Mitch Hanager. And a tops now for Aaron Judge. And I can never remember what that new one is called. It's like the Alliance of American Football, or maybe not that at all, but something kind of similar to that. I think it at least has Alliance in the name. And I think it starts this weekend, maybe. If it's not this weekend, it's next weekend. And I think they said some of the players who were supposed to be in that league have actually already signed uh, contracts of various types with the NFL. So the idea is for this new league, I'm sure everybody's heard this already, but the idea for the new league is that it 
is not supposed to compete with the NFL. It is supposed to complement the NFL, like kind of act as a farm system almost for the NFL is the idea. Brad Peacock to 2019. Coming in behind, there's a little Mike Trout iconic card for sure. The Brewers and, uh, and we're back to the base. So anyway, Tops did sign a deal with that league, and they are going to produce football cards for it. And I ordered, I didn't order much of it, but I did order a little bit of it. Figured we'd check it out and kind of see how it, how it rolls. I think there's only 10 teams in there, if I remember correctly, in that new league. But it's definitely some names and faces we've seen and heard of before. And apparently, uh, that's DeGrom for the Mets. They're also going to let kids who aren't age-wise eligible uh, yet to go to the NFL could also jump to that league if they want. They're paid. It's the Cubs hollow foil, the Brewers, and a Topps now Bryce Harper insert. I think they get like 250000 a year or something like that. So, I don't know. So, we'll see. Uh, they have no... no uh, what is it? They have no kickoff return. I think they did away with, they did away with, uh, the onside kick. You can't do that. They changed the play play clock down by, lowered it by five seconds. It seems like there's one other, uh, rule change they had from the NFL. And then the rest of it pretty much flows with the, uh, regular NFL rules. It's Rickard to 2019 for the Orioles. The Pirates with Birdie and a hollow foil. Uh, there's a, oh, that's nice. Revolution of the game with a little uh, Joe Torre. Very cool. For the Yankees. The A's with Matt Olson. No, Chris, it's not the uh, XFL, I don't think. That's what it used to be called, right? There used to be an XFL league and a something else league. I think, I th isn't this one called something Alliance? Isn't it like Alliance of American Football or American Football Alliance? I want to say it has a couple of A's and an F in it. But that could be incorrect. But I don't think it's XFL. I don't think. Anyway, point of the matter is it's going to be nice to get tops back into football cards. Castillo for the Reds. Pujols for the Cardinals. The Twins with Jose Barrios. And then Base. I'm kind of anxious to see what kind of product they put on the field and well, maybe it'll be fun. I think there's a lot of Hall of Fame type guys that are going to be involved in coaching and uh, various aspects of working with the league. So, yeah, it sounds like it could be a lot of fun if, if it survives. I think it's better that they don't want it to compete with the NFL and they want it to be like complementary to the NFL and more like farm system type stuff, I think it probably does have a better chance at surviving in the long haul. Hollow foil for the Rockies, a revolution of the game. Uh, this guy is, I don't know, a stats guy. He's going up here with the, we've got to do something with him spot. Yvonne Rodriguez for the Rangers. There's a Cody Bellinger home run challenge card. And of course, what are we like a, a week away, less than, to pitchers and catchers report? And we still have a couple of big names unsigned. Did anybody see that coming at the start of free agency? I didn't. There's Laureano for the Oakland A's. Jackie Robinson Orioles. Vlad Guerrero, the original for the Expos. And, of course, the former Montreal Expos are the current Washington National. So that will go to their current name of and location of that franchise. So anything Expos goes to the Nationals. Roberto Alomar to 50 and first in the series, no less. I always like that. The commemorative medallion insert. 
I forgot to say Last Box Mojo, didn't I? So we'll say it now. Last Box Mojo kicking in. Roberto Alomar is our first out of the last box. Chad Bettis, Rockies. Cal Ripken Jr. for the Orioles. The Padres with Will Myers. A tops now for the Angels. And then that is base. Jose Martinez for the Cardinals to 2019. Behind that, we have a hollow foil getting ready to head our way for the Cubbies. An evolution of baseball for the Red Sox. That doesn't have to go to housekeeping. That's got only one team on it. Chris Davis for the A's, and then we're at the base again. One hundred and fifty gold little symbol there for Michael Kopic and the White Sox. There's Rod Carew for the Twins. The Marlins have Brian Anderson. There's a Lou Gehrig for the Yankees with an iconic reprint, and it is numbered to one hundred and fifty. getting there we're getting there for the Detroit Tigers you have Villanueva Pedro Martinez for the Red Sox Chris Bryant and the Cubbies and behind that comes our autograph and it's for the Yankees and it is numbered to 50 very nice the Yankees with a little legacy of baseball to 50. Not too shabby. Yankees were probably sweating it out, too, because they were like, oh, man, we're on the last box. <laughs> it's always nicer when your hits come out at, like, first, isn't it? And then you can just sit back and enjoy the rest of the break, kind of relax, be like, thank goodness. Ted Williams, greatest players, Red Sox. There's a hollow foil for the White Sox with Copic. Buster Posey and the Giants. There's a tops now for the Cubbies with Schwerber one more time. And here we have ourselves Sonny Gray for the New York Yankees to 2019. I see an iconic card reprint coming up behind for Clemente and the Pirates. Christian Yelich for the Brewers. Is Dallas Keuchel still unsigned too? Does anybody know? I think he might be. I haven't seen any news about him signing. I'm a little surprised. And and uh, isn't Kluber? Keuchel and Kluber both may still be unsigned. That's for the Cubs. Brooks Robinson is the Orioles. Bundy is uh, for the Orioles with a hollow foil. I almost called him Ted Bundy. That'd be bad. Francisco Lindor and the Indians. Because I watched that Ted Bundy documentary movie sort of thing on Netflix last week. Yeah, I'm sure that guy would not appreciate being called Ted Bundy. Mookie Betts for the Red Sox. A hollow foil Raphael Devers for the Red Sox. The Phillies with Reese Hoskins. And our last relic out is for Mr. Carlos Correa. Game used appears to be a piece of the baseball bat for the Astros. Oh, Eric, I thought that uh, I thought that Corey Kluber was uh, was free agent this year too, but he's not. Okay, he's Indians uh, 
still under team control with the Indians. I don't know why I thought he was he was a free agent this year. I got who am I thinking of? I'm thinking of Craig Kimbrell. That's who I was thinking of. I said Corey Kluber. I was thinking Craig Kimbrell. Sorry. That's who I was thinking of. Craig Kimbrell and the Red Sox. And then you said Dallas Keuchel has not signed. Okay. Yeah, I'm telling you guys, I don't know what is up with my memory these days. I think, well, they did say some of that medication I'm on can cause you to have some memory kind of issues, I guess. But holy Moses, it's been crazy lately. All right, so here's what we need to do. These two cards right here are not affiliated with any particular team. So we will use random.org momentarily to award those two cards. And it'll be very simple. I will just copy all the teams from the spreadsheet, put them in there. We'll run random one time. And uh, how whoever comes up in the number one position will end up taking those two home. Now, Greatness Returns, where we have two different teams on the majority of these cards. So obviously on a card where we have the same team, like that one, we don't have to worry about it. It just goes to the Mets. And this one just goes to the Rockies. But for those who happen to have two different teams on them, we're going to use random.org for that as well. But here's how it will work. I will type in left and right. Because we have nine or fewer items in that list, then we're going to use random just uh, three times, okay? And the first two times are not going to count. It's only the third and final time that we do random that will determine whether that's going to go to the team on the left-hand side of the card or the team on the right-hand side of the card. So that's how we handle these sorts of things. So give me a minute to get this typed in, and uh, we'll take a look at it. All right, so once again, it's the third random. So ignore the first one. Don't pay any attention to the second one either. Here comes our third and final. There you see three times our date and timestamp. It is coming up to the right-hand side of the card. So that means we are looking at Astros. That was Those were both Red Sox, so we don't have to worry about that. Those are both Indians. And uh, here we'll go to the Braves. So it actually affected these two, the Astros and the Braves, both going to the team on the right-hand side of the card. Next, we're going to use random to give away these two little fine fellows right here who have no team affiliations with them. So I'll bring you along with me. We'll first roll over here to the spreadsheet and copy all of the teams. And base cards will also be included in this random because that was uh, a bidding position just like the teams were. So it's also in the mix to win these cards using random.org. If I can get myself on the right page, I've got you there. i got to get me there. There we go. So in this case, of course, we've got 10 or more items in our list. So I can paste them in here. We're going to run random one single time. And wherever we come out, uh, uh, we'll take those cards home. Scrolling through so you can see all the teams were, in fact, copied and pasted in there, as well as our extra bidding category that was for base cards. Good luck, everyone. It comes up to the A's. So the Oakland A's will end up with these two cards. Now, to recap, I think I stacked all of our numbered stuff off separately. If for some reason uh, I accidentally stacked a numbered one in with the other inserts, don't worry, you are still going to get it. Uh, I just, you know, tried to make two stacks of inserts, the numbered and the unnumbered, and every once in a while I'll stack one in the wrong spot. To 2019, Sonny Gray and the Yankees, Lou Gehrig and the Yankees to 150, Martinez and the Cardinals 2019, the Orioles to 2019 with Rickard, there's Brad Peacock to 2019 for the Astros, Justin Bauer. For the Phillies to 67, Orlando Arcia and the Brewers to 2019, Martinez to 2019 for the Cardinals, Randall Grychuk to 67 for the Blue Jays, Edwin Diaz to 2019 for the Mariners, this is to 2019 for the Rockies, 
2019 for the Marlins. Steven Souza here. This one is a, the Camo Parallel, so it's to 25 for the Diamondbacks. Gregorius to 2019 for the Yankees, to 2019 for the Phillies, and then the Brewers to 2019 with Shoop. And once again, if there were any other numbered cards that I accidentally stacked in the other pile of inserts, uh, don't worry, you're still going to get it. All the inserts uh, are stacked separately from the base cards in this break. Recapping our hits, the Brewers with our uh, manufactured medallion card, a manufactured relic for the Phillies and Aaron Nola. That's one of two, I think, for Nola. This is Justin Verlander in the Astros. It is numbered to 99 postseason performance relic. The Indians have a Mike Clevenger autograph hit. Manufactured relic for Ivan Rodriguez, Ivan Rodriguez and the Rangers to 150. A little Mike Trout relic came out for the Angels. Felipe Vasquez and the Pirates. That is numbered to 50 with an autograph hit. This one is a sticker autograph for the Yankees. It is numbered to 50. For the Rangers, Beltre with a little relic that looks like a piece of the baseball bat. The Nationals with a nice Juan Soto autograph that is numbered to 150. Another Aaron Nola relic uh, manufactured, this one numbered to 150 for the Phillies. The Astros manufactured relic with George Springer. The Braves have Colby Allard autograph hit. The A's with Ricky Henderson uh, numbered to 150, piece of the baseball bat. Jose Abreu and the White Sox. For the A's, you have Matt Chapman to 150 with an autograph uh, sticker auto on that one as well. Carlos Correa for the Astros and a manufactured relic for Roberto Alomar to 50. So that is the break for tonight. I will put up spreadsheet information here one more time for anybody who might have missed it earlier. We'll take a look at your anticipated shipping dates. We'll also... Uh, take a quick peek at what's going to be breaking in the days ahead. So if anyone happens to have missed either of those things or you have some interest in seeing it again, here it comes. So the free shipping items tonight should be on the way to you no later than Tuesday, the 12th a week from today. Often they go sooner than that, but free shipping is always projected out about a week after the fact. The paid shipping break tonight, that's the Series 1 Jumbo, uh, should be on the way to you uh, no later than Saturday. If I can get it to you sooner than that, of course I absolutely will, but it should not be any later than that, barring any unforeseen circumstances. And once again, of course, everybody should know by now that Base Cards has its own bidding category, so you are getting uh, the inserts that we stopped and looked at in each pack there. Next up, we are looking at breaks that are coming up in the days ahead. So tomorrow night, we've got an autographed uh, football jersey from TriStar Game Day Greats, a pair of Gold Rush autographed mini football helmets, and a full case of Contenders football, which is the last of the Contenders. On Thursday, we're going to break Limited Football and Optic Basketball, both by the full case. On Friday, we'll open a full master case of Panini One Football, which is a 20-box uh, master case. It's two 10 box inner cases. We're also going to open another case of Crown Royal Basketball. Saturday we will open what I think is our last case of Bowman Draft Super Jumbo and uh, that's another one where base cards do not ship to the teams. Base cards will have its own bidding category to the teams. You will get uh, numbered cards, chrome cards, autographed cards, and inserts. On Sunday, we'll break another master case of Panini One football, and we'll travel back in time a little bit and break a full case of 2011 Crown Royal football. So that's what the days ahead look like, and uh, I guess that has got us all squared away for tonight. So once again, thanks everyone for joining me. I appreciate you spending part of your evening with me. I hope you have a fantastic uh, week ahead, and we will be back at it tomorrow night. So we'll see you next time. Bye now.